Hi guys, welcome to this small fix about the Oblivion 2016 tutorial. Once you did the tutorial, you might encounter some problems, some weird stuff that needs to be fixed. And um, I was deciding to create this tutorial for quite a while since I released it. But um, yeah, I got sick, unfortunately. I got the flu well, during Easter and um, I also had some stomach problems afterwards. But thankfully, I am fine right now. So I am able to create this tutorial and I'm sorry it took a while for that. But um, yeah, there are some stuff that we need to do or at least that you should do to uh, fix some of your issues. And I want to thank the following person. The first one is Xeris for his wonderful uh, input about, st about some problems. I uh, also want to thank It's The Denkman for his uh, very helpful uh, changes that you can do in Oblivion Reloaded to fix some stuff. And I also want to thank, uh, especially also, let's see, um, I got his comment here. Um, was about Oblivion. Here it is, yeah. Uh, I want to thank especially them, son, for uh, noticing that I did not install Oblivion character overall too correctly because. I did load it and not import it and for that I did not uh, import the ESP which is necessary for Oblivion character overall version 2. So thank you very much Damson for mentioning this. This was really stupid of me. I should have checked into this first but I did not and I'm, um, I'm very grateful that you noticed this. So what we want to do now is you want to go to my site, go to uh, Tutorials Oblivion of course, scroll down until you get these fixes. And um, also, uh, I am aware that uh, you might have some shadow problems on some indoor locations. These are the things that I also notice, um, so, well, which are left to be fixed. I'm not really sure if it's the EMB or all natural. Perhaps it's a combination of, of the uh, mods both. But um, yeah, that's the thing I'm aware of right now, which need to be fixed. Okay, uh, to first, what you want to do is fix the Oblivion character, character overall too. And how to do that is by opening your test map manager. Then you want to go to Oblivion character overall version 2. You want to force disable it. Then you want to do the same for block at force disable it. Then you want to delete Oblivion character overall version 2. And then you want to delete block at. As you can see, I'm not doing this because I already did uh, apply this. And what you want to do then is import block at so you want to click on import then you want to uh, click on the block at mod which you loaded first and then you get this um, this pop-up menu again to create an omoth and what you want to do then is click on create omoth and uh, once you did that uh, you get a green square probably for block hat and you have to activate block hat and then you have successfully activated block hat as an omoth it's not really block at because it's Oblivion character, uh, Oblivion character overall version 2 which you now have to import. So then you have to click on import. Then um, do the same for Oblivion character overall version 2. You get the, the pop-up window again. Then you click on create OMOD and then activate Oblivion character overall version 2. And once you've successfully done that you get this ESP which was required to successfully load the um, uh, Oblivion character of overall version 2. I was checking if there was also a block added ESP. Apparently not, so perhaps it doesn't really matter if you import or load block hat, but um, anyway, that's important that you apply this fix. Then you want to click on utilities, then you want to click on archive and validation and click update now, which means uh, the changes should have uh, been applied to your modded Oblivion. Then once you uh, install Oblivion Reloaded in my tutorial, there are some annoying things that Oblivion Reloaded applied as features. And um, yeah, some of them are auto aim and in, in uh, combat, which is really weird. And also a known combat system. They have enhanced camera, which is okay, but uh, I can imagine you want the vanilla camera. Also, you have uh, the equipment manager. Let's say that when you go to sleep or when you go to uh, uh, to when you enter the water, it will 
automatically unequip every everything that you wear and that's it can be pretty annoying and pretty disorienting so um yeah you can uh, fix that by going to the following you want to go to the following e uh, any file which is this one oblivion data any oblivion reloaded e speed at any and you want to change stay on target from one to zero and that should fix the auto aim then you want to open up this oblivion reloaded that any which you should be pretty familiar with right now and combat mode will uh, if you change that to zero will sh or at least should bring back your vanilla combat then camera mode to zero if you change that to zero you will disable the enhanced camera but you should check it out because the enhanced camera is a nice feature actually of oblivion reloaded but um yeah that's something you should check for yourself uh, the equipment mode is as far as i know the um the line that should uh prevent your uh character from uh, unequipping his equipment when going into water sleeping mode is i think the same for when when you go to bed or some other stuff which are some other problems which i had once i would uh, wanted to sleep so uh, you can disable it also and the underwater stuff some guys have uh, some of you had some problems with going underwater where the visibility was just too bright or could not see anything at all so you can change these that line to zero and uh, that should pretty much fix the oblivion reloaded uh, problems you have and it of course fixes the oblivion character overall version 2 so it should be installed correctly and if you would start your oblivion you would see that the characters look way different um, way better way sharper and um, this is the how you should have installed it also if you create a new character you have very great looking characters instead of the vanilla characters so again thank you very much guys that you want to think with me and not necessarily um, say hey man you idiot you installed it wrong but you're just thinking with me by saying hey you missed a thing or hey you could change this to actually fix your problem so i'm really thankful for that that you did that with me guys and um i hope this um this video answers most of your questions because uh, during my absence uh, of my sickness i saw a lot of new replies and i hope this video fixes most of it else just feel free to comment on my videos or on my uh forum so I hope this fixes uh, everything and thank you very much for watching.